Hi, I'm Eric with Matthews, and welcome to another Tech Tips video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the latest Pinnacle 2020 software update, which is version 21. The biggest change in this software update is that we've added our new dryer series, the Fusion Series dryer. So over here, we can see that we have a new series, the Fusion, with various models. And we went through and added several different screens and graphics to account for the new dryer and to make all of this work with our new style dryer. So that was a big part of this update. This shouldn't affect any of the dryers in the field, um, but there are several other features that we've added that may make you want to install this update onto dryers you've got out there. So the first thing I'd like to show are some changes in the troubleshooting system configuration menu. We've added another language. We've had English and Russian. We added Slovakian. One thing that's considered a bug fix is we've had bushels and tons per hour. We had some reports that the tons per hour wasn't working properly across the software. So we went through and made sure that it's being scaled properly and tons per hour should now be working correctly. Under our grain types, there have been a couple reports of issues uh, where AccuDry wasn't working properly. And after we troubleshot for a little while, we found out that the customer had an NA grain type. So at the top of this list, we used to have three rows that just said NA that were there as placeholders. If the customer selected that by mistake, they had an empty grain type and AccuDry wouldn't function. So in order to avoid that from happening in the future, we've taken the NA types out and now the top row is corn. So we shouldn't have that issue anymore. Uh, that should help cut down on those nuisance calls. One new feature that um, I wanna show you as well is in the historical data maintenance history page. So um, one of the last updates we added bushel counters and one of the suggestions we've gotten is to add a max bushel cooldown. So what we can do when you're leaving for the night you know that your bin can take maybe 1500 more bushels. You can enter 1500 bushels. If I enable this shutdown here we're gonna see we have 1900 1500 is our limit, so we'll reset that to zero. And when we run, once this number goes over the value we've set, the dryer will enter a cooldown mode and keep the fans running. So this will be a nice feature for when you leave at night and you want to keep the dryer running, but you don't have an indicator on the bin to tell you when it's full. Speaking of cooldowns, another piece of feedback we've gotten is about the cooldown timer. Um, in the past, our maximum setting has been 500 seconds. Some people told us they'd like to run this longer, so you can see we now have a maximum time of 1800 seconds, which is half an hour. So you can now set your cooldown timers for your fan as high as 30 minutes. That should more than accommodate any cooling that you'd like to do, so that change is there as well. Another piece that we've changed, which won't affect very many dryers, but it'll be good to know, is 12 foot and 18 foot tower dryers. We've made the max on safety shutoff valve optional. And so our software has assumed that a max on safety shutoff valve was installed on these dryers. But now that that's an option, we've gone ahead and if I load a 12 foot tower, we'll see down here once it loads, you can see it's loading right now. And now that it's loaded, we see there's a max on valve option. So if you have a 12 or an 18 foot tower dryer that does not have a Maxon valve installed, when they go to hit the start burner button right now, it still prompts them to go open their Maxon valve. If you uncheck this box, that won't pop up anymore. It'll act just like it should without a Maxon valve. That uh, summarizes the main changes that we've made. There's various other uh, uh, small changes we made to some alarm descriptions, a few other presets that we've changed. Um, otherwise, that should be it. So um, this update is available on the dealer gateway and the software center. Um, we always have the latest software available there for download. Um, if you have a 710 screen, make sure that you take that USB, plug it in the back of each HMI. It'll automatically start downloading. If you have a 610, the procedure is a little bit different. You'll have to log in, come to your HMI settings, and update HMI. If you've forgotten that procedure, you can take a look at TSB 2020-02 for that procedure. I hope this video has been helpful, and we'll see you in the next one.